Good morning, curls. Don't mind my morning voice. We're just hanging out at home today. Um, I just put up a makeup tutorial, so make sure you go check that out. It's how I do my makeup every single day. I'm about to make breakfast, a late breakfast per usual. But we're going to be making um, French toast, eggs, and sausage. But you need to find bread. I'm about to make breakfast and we're just gonna be chilling at home today because we are like so tired of like being on the move so this vlog is gonna just be like real real chill and it'll probably just be it'll be um Devin and I in this vlog because Taylor and Sky are like doing everything. <laughs> What you'll need for this recipe is three eggs, a half cup of milk, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half teaspoon of ground nutmeg, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract. I put two tablespoons of sugar, four um, tablespoons of butter for when you actually, you know, put it on the skillet. I have eight slices of bread, maple syrup, powdered sugar, and whipped cream, which both are optional. Um, so yeah, so you just mix all the ingredients together. And of course, you will dip the bread into this mixture and then put it on the skillet. And you just have to make sure the bread doesn't soak up too much of the egg and milk um, mixture because you don't want your bread soggy. You just want it to be coated on the outside, basically. And you just wait and see if it's brown and then flip it over and repeat. <laughs> footage because everybody's doing their own thing I'm editing per usual and and Taylor and Sky are doing their own thing Devin's watching Ratchet TV and I just need a break I'm just gonna be chilling in my room by myself I'm just chilling in the room by myself editing my phone is freaking going bananas Sabrina, natural partner Synchron. Yeah, so group text message. I'm getting my top knot in today again. And pardon if the lighting is crazy because I'm in my room, so, and I don't have any lights on. But we have really good lighting in our house. Every People have been asking like what settings and stuff I use and all that. I do use special settings on my camera, which is a Canon Rebel T5i. Um, I use that for vlogging. I try getting the small camera. Was the was it a Canon 2 or Sony? Sony A5100, but I didn't like it. But when I was in New Orleans, Jessica, J Fashion Girl, she has that camera and it does take amazing pictures. I just didn't like the video quality, so I took that back. Um, so yeah, I do film with this camera and I can adjust the settings to make the lighting perfect or as perfect as it can be. Um, and like I said, like I have no lights on in my bedroom right now and the lighting is like, okay, it's not the best, but um, we have good lighting in our apartment. So good lighting, good natural lighting and a good camera is all you need. Um, but anyway, I'm about to finish editing and yeah. Cakes Mitchell. He, he featured my song on the Skydive proposal, which is special. But he, he's my camera guy, the guy that shoots all my videos. So shout out to him. Perfect form. Oh, that's his proposal video? Uh-huh. So she skydived too? Yeah. Not for me. Oh, sorry, Sky. Oh, gosh. It's go time. It got blue lips. 
Nice and tight. She says you're not scared. Hey, what's up, Everybody was so concerned about you guys seat belt or no car seat. Tell them that you're big girls. They're tilted up. They were supposed to be inside, but somehow we ended up in Ocean City. Sam, it's, it's Sam's fault. Sam. The Joseph A. Banks, like a crazy sale going on. So I had to go get that. Don't be on your phone and driving. <laughs> I know, somebody probably already thinking it. <laughs> this is where Devin at, y'all. Devin, I said, <laughs> I said you were old man. Fellas, this is what you have to understand. You gotta have more than two suits in your closet. I mean, it's only right, and there's so many things you can do with one suit, okay? So, whenever I hear about sales, I can make sure my dress scheme is right. That's what you do. It's over here. I think there's an ice cream place over here, right? Huh? I saw him. He's so cute. night I went to celebrate uh, no, not last my, my my brother SB his his he had like a cookout so if you follow me on snapchat you probably seen the antics from the cookout I had a real real good time got in late so uh, I wasn't gonna go anywhere today like I was just, we was just gonna chill around here clean up the house cuz you know sometimes you gotta clean the house up uh, today I have plans on staying in the house. I wanted everybody just to keep still today because we have been doing so much. And trust me, it's not just for the vlogs. Like we are always doing something. And I think I just got to the point where I was exhausted. I was like, I'm staying in. And Devin was like, you want to go to IHOP? And I was like, 
no <laughs> i was like i was like i don't want to do nothing like i just want to just stay in the house i'm tired of going places that's exactly what i said to him then i dove in yep. it was so funny but i meant it and so we all we had breakfast at pretty much lunchtime and we were like chilling everybody was doing their own thing i was in the room editing devin was out here watching tv the girls were in their room playing minecraft and I thought that's how it was going to be all day. My guy, my guy Sam called me. Sam Wiz Cook, shout out to Sam. And said, Joseph A. Banks is having a, like a killer sale, like 80% off. Like something crazy like that. What is it called? Joseph A. Bank. That's what it is? Joseph A. Bank. Yeah, Joseph A. Bank. Oh, uh, he was just like... Yo, Wiz said they having a sale at Joseph A. Banks or something. And I was like, y'all sound like some old men talking about some darn suits and ties. And they thought that was funny. They were cracking up. But I really meant that too. <laughs> I didn't mean to be funny. Um, so yeah, so then when he got off the phone, I was like, are you serious? You really want to go to Ocean City and go shopping and get ice cream? Or no, he said get ice cream. And I was like, fine. And see, when that happens to Devin, that's nothing. Like, he can just throw something on and go. <sighs> I had to do both of the girls' hair. Had to get them dressed. I know we talk about supporting black businesses and all that. So that doesn't mean that we're still not going to buy from other places. That just means that we're going to put more effort into. So don't pigeonhole us and think, why y'all shopping here? Why y'all shopping there? Pump your brakes. Relax. We're still going to shop at other places, but we're just going to pump more of our time and our efforts into black businesses. So back to what was going on. So they're going out of business. So uh, they're having like a killer sale. So he called. He's like, yo, I got all this stuff for like $60. Like all these sweaters, suits, all this stuff for $60. So at my job, I dress up certain tie every day. So I said, let me go. And see what this sale is about. Not me. You said well, let's all go. Yeah. So I, I got everybody up. I got <laughs> I got Yolanda up, Taylor and Scarlett. And plus, it's a it's a way for us, you know, before my work week starts, it's our our final time to like spend some time together. So we went down to the beach and. First of all, I like the bag because it's black and gold. Shout out to all my alphas out there. But the black and gold, it got a nice feel to it. You know? <laughs> so, uh, it looks like a sub bag for real. But uh, I don't wear, I, the suits that was in there, they were like kind of baggy. And tweed, everything. And I, and I don't, listen, I'm, even though I'm getting older, I don't be wearing the baggy suits. All my suits are tailored and all that. So. I couldn't really get down with the baggy suit gang, but whoever's out there wearing baggy suits, hey, keep bagging it up. So Joseph A. Bags <laughs> right now, if you wanna, you know, go get your baggy suit. But um, <laughs> ties, I picked up some ties that'll go with, you know, what I mean my, you know, I get I get my dress on, you know what I mean. So <laughs> I said up up up. Oh, I like that one. See, I like solids. I don't like. Yeah, grits. they didn't have. They didn't have a lot of solids. But these, these are originally like fifty dollars. I got them. See, this is fifty dollars. I got this for six dollars. So that I mean. They haven't solid. seen it yet. Oh, boom. Up, up, up. So, so this was fifty dollars. I got it for six dollars. That's my favorite. Shout out, Sam. Boom. Know particularly what I'm gonna wear it with or nothing like that, but gotta make sure your tie game is on point. And shout out my daddy gave me a whole bunch of ties that I ain't gonna wear, but <laughs> I, threw, I threw some of them away. Yeah. Or no, I donated them. I donated them to some place. And then I got a pair. I got a pair of uh, slim fitting. You not showing it? Dress slacks. I got a pair of slim fitting dress slacks. Um, yeah, you know I mean, Taylor made. They was originally. Babe, uh, they can't see it. They was originally two hundred, but I paid like thirty something for them. You know, They're slim all the way down. Slim all the way down. 
When we walk in any job, I always tell people, you dress for the job that you want, not the one that you particularly have. So I take pride in the way I present myself at my job and you know how I'm how I'm dressed and how when I'm go to these meetings and all that, you know, black excellence walking in the building, you know? So yes, that's my haul. As you saw, Devin went to Joseph A. Bank. I went to Charlotte Rue. In Ocean City, it's basically the stores or outlets, so it's just like a whole bunch of stuff for the low. So I got a few items, and you guys know I like really simple um, pieces. So I, the first thing I got is a t-shirt. My style lately has just been really simple um, and basic because I noticed that when, like in the past, I dressed kind of trendy which was kind of different and I, it was creative and all that to me back then. But when I look back at pictures, I would be looking like, what the heck was I thinking? So I have started just dressing more comfortable for that reason. And I also think it's because I'm getting older. Um, but I don't want to be like an old person dressing like lame. Sorry, but you know what I mean. So I still want to look hip and fashionable, but just keep it basic, you know? So basic colors and basic pieces. So this is just a simple t-shirt, but it's not so simple because it does have the v-neck. It has the pocket here and it has this like distressed look. And it's also like a jersey material. Does it tell you what it's made of? I don't think so. But it's like a jersey material. So very light and free flowing. So I like these types of t-shirts. So if you are trying to build your wardrobe, I suggest getting some t-shirts like that in various solid colors, like a striped one or something. Another simple um, tee, but this is actually a tank top. I don't know if you can see it, but, cause this light is bright. But this is just like a, a tan color with white, um, trimming on it but it's like this really pale like greenish color with the pocket again and a scoop neck so I basically just got t-shirts oh this is a t-shirt well a blouse it's a I like the turtleneck part well it's not really a turtleneck but it's a, a nice neck area it's sleeveless and I don't mind getting sleeveless or thin t-shirts because I wear them all year round. You guys know I wear jackets with everything. I got a jacket on right now. But I just like jackets, so I don't care what kind of top it is because I always layer anyway. And then I got some jeans. The jeans were buy one, get one half off, I think, or more than half. Buy one, get one for $12.50. So I got a pair of these jeans and they have the distressed denim on it. And I also got this pale pink color one as well. <laughs> you wanna say hi? Say hey. Aren't they beautiful? So yeah, I got these cutie dangly earrings. Yeah, you can never go wrong with studs. You know, uh, here's what my food for thought for the day is for the people. No matter what you do, right, wrong, or indifferent, somebody's going to have something to say about what you do. So whether you're doing good, whether you're doing bad, it doesn't matter. Just continue to do what you're doing. Do it the best that you can. Don't worry about people nagging on your side, people calling, trying to bring you down because I think some people wake up with the intent to bring people down and obviously with all the negativity that we have in the world right now, it's easy to succumb to that negativity that people bring it to you. So just do you. Don't worry about what everybody's saying. If they talking good about you, hey, appreciate the flowers. If they talking bad about you, hey, it is what it is. They talked about Jesus. So do what you do, continue to be great. Positivity will be the new wave. Thanks for watching my mini Joseph A. Bank haul. You know, ties and, 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 and pants. I don't know how interesting that will be to you guys, but show your boyfriends, show your husbands, 
if you got a Joseph A. Banks around your way, they about to, to close down on like the 24th. So go get you some ties and, and all that good stuff. All right? I'm out.